Mark and Brandy, you brought the most important person to this ceremony tonight. And I want to ask Mark if he will open us today in prayer. God, I'm just so thankful, Father, that you created us. You know everything about us, God, and I know that you're the one who brought Carrie and Micah together. God, I just ask, Father, that they would just uh, look to you and keep you in the center of their relationship because I know that you're the one who watches over their future. Unity, like love, is a powerful and mysterious idea. In 1 John chapter 4, John says, God is love. Many of you know that Micah really grew up uh, spending a lot of time with the Mills family. Alex was his best friend. He got to know all the boys. They played together all the time. Some time ago, <laughs> Carrie spent a little time working where Micah works at uh, Darden Rehabilitation. And during that time, it seems that she began to develop something or recognize something that was going on, at least for her. A few years later, she wishes Mike a happy birthday on Snapchat. And he responds and uh, finds out that her birthday is coming up and she's turning 21. And he says, somebody ought to take you out and uh, serve you some margaritas, get everything going. So they did, they met and began to talk and begin to notice something that really was already there. Carrie Lee Mills, you are best friend, soulmate, kindred spirit, my other, my half, my peace, my joy in the morning, my light in times of dark, and today you become my wife. Today has been and is becoming the most beautiful day of my life. It is so rare that one finds their other half, but I am proud to say that God has sent you to me and you are tailor-made for me. Today I promise to always be your constant, to attempt to make you smile and hear your sweet laugh at any occasion. I promise to love you more and more every day and build on what we have started. I promise to be your light in times of dark, to always have you and Thomas's best interest at heart. I vow today to be your number one fan, your greatest supporter, your shoulder to cry on, and to cry and laugh with you until the day I die. I vow to be the greatest father figure to Thomas I could possibly be. I vow to continue learning along the way, and I promise you that I will make mistakes, but I will learn from them. I love you with all of my being. Micah, it's finally here. Time just flew by, but I'm not surprised because it always does with you. Ever since that day we slow danced in your office, I knew I wanted to spend the rest of my life with you. I'm so thankful for everything that brought me to you. You're everything I didn't know I needed. I truly feel like I'm my best self with you. I can't wait to grow with you, be with you through the change, challenge each other, and annoy each other daily. You give me one more reason to love you every day I'm with you. You're my best friend, my peace on my hardest days, and my source for advice. I already love our little family and I can't wait to see where life takes us. I promise to love you with all that I have and put nothing above you. I promise to challenge you to be your best self, to support you always, and to call you out when you're being a dumbass. You're everything I ever dreamed of, Micah, and I'm so thankful that I have all of you forever for the rest of our lives. I'm so honored to be your wife and to call you my husband. I love you more than you will ever know. Love, Carrie. Love doesn't need to be devised or constructed. But please understand, a flower blossoms best under the right conditions, soil, water, and sunlight. But love is not the sunlight. Love is not the soil or the water. Love is not even the seed. Love is that mysterious life force 
that is always present, that causes the seed to bloom into a glorious sight. So how do we recognize it? Love is patient and kind, and love doesn't envy or boast. And it's not arrogant or rude. It doesn't insist on its own way. It, it's not irritable or resentful. It doesn't rejoice at wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. May every desire that you have for your marriage be fulfilled. Well, you guys know what's last. It's Go ahead. <laughs>